Hey, but it was just he, always. He shortened it to damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, we're getting there. Alrighty, so today we are doing a small of the back yes, holster. Small of the back holster. Um, yes. so this guy right here. <clears throat> okay. Oh, hello. Wow. Why don't you fix that camera? <clears throat> All right. So we got this guy, small of the back holster. So he sits like this along your belt line. So it's slight angle up. Yeah, no. Yeah, you've got it upside down. I have it. This? So oh, like this he goes up. up. Yes. Mmm. Listen, <laughs> shut up, guys. <laughs> I don't gun. Hey, I was spotting for you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this is a fake gun. Yes. Nobody worry. He's just a little airsoft gun, right? Yeah. Look, airstrike. Yes. 240. That's what this is. It's an Airstrike 240. If anybody's curious what gun we use to do this, this is, is the gun that we use. An it's Airstrike 240. It's an exact replica of a Beretta, though. Okay. Is there is there a specific so, kind of Beretta if, so well, we can be so specific? Yeah, I'm sure there is, but I'm not sure which one. But you could rob a convenience store with that gun right there. If you, if you felt like it, you know. All right. Um, that's what it is. Anyways, the pattern uh, is in the description. It's a free downloadable one. And then there's no instructions that go with it. It's just what we're going to do here today. Yes. Tonight. Yes. All right. Because if, if we tried to, to give you a pattern, this pattern, it won't fit your gun unless it's this gun. That's right. Yeah. So, anyway. All right. Well, you tell them about it. Okay. I've taken the liberty. This is, this is the pattern, and it's just a fold-over pattern. Folds over like this. Ooh, Switzerland is watching today. How fun oh, is that? All right. Can you tell us how you decided that that was going to be the pattern for it? Can we talk about that? How you decided that was the right size? Real quick. Uh, the, this piece of paper was? Yeah. Uh, I got a big piece of paper and put the gun on it. And as, as you can see here, I don't know. Yeah. Yep. You can see here where I drew around the gun. And then I folded this over. Oh. With the gun inside of it and said, that's just about right. That's how I did that. Very good, thank you. You know, and but I used a lot of paper doing this. Did you do it a few times? I did it a few times. And, but paper is cheap compared to leather. That is true. So you can waste a lot of paper and not be too bad so off. So what were you adjusting whenever you were adjusting it on paper? Everything, uh, most <laughs> mostly this part. The the length, of course, is needs to be adjusted right. Okay. And you know, this, just the size, how big around it, because one thing you need to take into consideration, the paper is thin and the leather is fairly thick. Correct. So the, the measurement is going to be a little bit different, but the beauty of this vegetable tanned leather, when you mold it, you can mold it to fit. It stretches. So, so you can make it a bit big if you want to. Okay. You, that big is better than too little. Okay. Too little, you can't get it in there. That's right. No matter and how much, because you, you sew it first. So, so part of it first. Yeah. You sew part of it first before you mold it, or at oh no, the whole thing is stitched before I mold it. Right, yes. which does eliminate a lot of the stretch that the leather could have. Is that correct? Um, yeah, correct. It does because it's stitched. But as you can see, if if you look, I have a piece of paper if you if, want. If it. well, I can show them right here. Okay. If you look. Right here is my stitch line. This is where it's stitched together in front of the trigger guard. Mm -hmm. There's quite a bit of space there. Yeah. So, but but that's molded from here to here is molded. Yeah. And it and it fits snug. I mean, you can put this in here. It's a good. It's a go good. Go like this. It's got good retention to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, doesn't have any snap guard to it or anything. It's just molded, and it's molded inside the trigger guard, and I molded as much as I could right here along the gun. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. And I, I am just going to tout, I mean, we always talk about Herman Oak, but Herman Oak is really the best leather to use to get this kind of retention because a lot of your imports, the way that they're tanned, they're just softer leathers. Yes. So that whenever you mold them, they don't they don't hold as snappily as Herman Oak yes, will. That's right. They don't have that. They don't have the, the density of the grain. They have a looser grain. It's been... It's, it's been opened up more, so right. it's not as tight, so it doesn't hold as well. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah, they, have, they just have a diff, little different tanning process. Correct. Herman Oak. <clears throat> uh, 
and the, the thing is I'm using two pieces of five to six ounce leather instead of one piece of 10 to 12 ounce leather. Mm -hmm. When you do that, when you cement two pieces of leather together and then you wet mold it, it makes it very stiff and hard. You can see, you can hear how hard that is, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, you don't get that with a single piece of leather. You don't get right. that stiffness. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the top side of this. And this pattern that I made, you can flip it for left or right-handed use. This one is for right-handed because I'm left-handed. Did that make a lot of sense? Absolutely. But I'm going to cut hmm. this out. Any particular part of the side? Uh, use the firmest parts you can find. Okay. Especially for the loop, for the belt loop parts. Right. You know, because that's going to take the most wear, the most abuse. So ideally, don't be cutting this out of the belly. Right. You want to do it out of the bend. Yeah. This is this is a bend project. Yes, as high Not up a on flanky. The, yeah, as high up on the back and towards the butt as you can find. But any piece, as long as it's nice and firm. Yeah. If you're making holsters and belts, cut a couple belt strips and then use the rest for holsters <laughs> up in that upper back part. And then you can cut your lining pieces of the belt towards the bottom of the bed. Yeah. yeah. You know? The liner can be anything. Yeah. It's there again, as long as it's vegetable tanned. What's good leather you have in the USA? Herman Oak. Herman Oak. All right. I've got that cut out. Now... I'm gonna. I've already, I've marked my belt loop holes, and I'm gonna just use a hole punch to. Because these sure. are curvy holes, so you yeah. can't use a slot punch. Yeah, you you can if you want to. I made these curved. For one thing, they look cool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They're fancy curvy slots. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, and then I'll cut between the holes. When you are gluing two pieces of leather together, are you concerned about grain orientation on them? No. In reality, there is no real grain orientation on a piece of leather. Yeah. The grain always runs in all different directions. Leather is, is a series of fibers. It's, it's yeah. actually interwoven together. And it's natural. It's not a piece of fabric that's literally been woven on an X and Y axis. Right. This is just grown however it was growing at yeah. the time. <laughs> And what thickness of leather are you using? This is a five to six ounce. So I'll end up with a with a ten to twelve ounce. Because you're doing two pieces. Yes. You said you were just gonna do a one piece, but I you was, decided against but, it. But well yes, because Cause this because of the snappiness. This it this is the finished side here, mm -hmm. and then this is would be the the underside here. So So we're doing plus, two ply. Yeah, plus it makes a nice nicer, more firm holster. Which is good for this kind because it's just kind of, it's out there. I guess yeah. he is riding up like that. But still. But still. Okay. These, these YouTubers are, are attempting to joke about you wasting trees versus wasting leather, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm That's rough cutting beautiful. this. I'm making it bigger than it needs to be, but I want to get it close to where I am, so. You think the gun is a weight, it gives a new meaning to dead weight. <laughs> 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 but um, but look, we got the jokes everywhere today. Yeah, Jason, I'm sure Denny has a belt on, right? I do. Perfect. So after we get this made, he can put it on for you. I will. Well, and we can we can do the one that you already made. Good. Okay. The other one's probably going to be a little wet. <laughs> okay. Now, I will try and place this approximately where I had it. Dead weight. Okay, now I'm gonna do everybody's favorite part. Blue. Do a little cement. 
you really don't have anything else to do. I don't get to glue today, guys, because Denny doesn't have anything else to do. Oh, would you like that, too? Pardon me? Yes, I, <laughs> I think I'll use it. <laughs> I'm not saying that leather tanning doesn't need to be cleaner where it's done so that we don't ruin people's water quality because that's more important than leather. Like I'm like, I'm all like, we need to be tanning in a way that's not ruining the water and the environment around it. That, that would also be a really good thing, which is why we don't tan a lot in the United States because we care about water and, yeah, and but the fish that live there. I mean, literally, Isaac and, and Spencer just took off a half a day to go fishing because it was trout season. So, like, <laughs> uh, like we care. Like I'm, like, I'm not saying that leather tanning doesn't also need to be. I could go down this road for a long time. <laughs> Everything in the world is connected, and we there, need to think about all of that when we do things. There is no U-turn on this road. There is no U-turn. Um... However, I do also feel that while the meat industry is going strong, we shouldn't just throw away the hides that come off of it. That's right. You know, like, I like it's, it's, do we need to make sure that we're doing things correctly with the hides when they come out? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I would love that to also be a thing in the world. However, just throwing the meat or the wrapper of the meat away is, is the, not. The wrapper. <laughs> this is the meat wrapper. <laughs> the meat wrapper. In the grocery store, they use paper. This is a really big conversation. <laughs> I never thought of it like that. <laughs> I will from now on. <laughs> you know what? I, I would have told you to cut those slots out after you had it glued together. I just cut the front ones out. I know you did. Everything just cuts nicer when it's all together and then you just have the one line instead of like, cut. but it's fine. True, true. Hey folks, I'm gonna stick this together now, but I'm only gonna, I'm gonna touch the, the front half. And then, since this is gonna take a bend, I'm gonna bend the bottom half. Stick it together. Yeah, all like you twitchers, that. it was the gun. So, sorry YouTube, yeah. you're not there anymore. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I know. <laughs> Not anymore, Odin. Not anymore. All right, so you glued it down flat, or did you glue it in kind of? No, a... that's what I said. When okay, I, I'm sorry. I only I only stuck half of it, and then I bent it. Gotcha. And and so this would take a curve. Otherwise, you'd have a big wrinkle here. Yeah. You might end up with some what of a wrinkle anyway by the time. It shouldn't be as much done. though. Right. Okay, now then, I think I will trim this. Oh, now you got a wrinkle at the top. <laughs> uh, but I won't have oh. it when all is said and done. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I spoke out loud. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do? Noises left Justin's mouth. He didn't intend on them leaving. <laughs> I submitted an appeal. But wait. Let's see here. Oh, I don't, I mean, I don't know if Jason is there anymore, but, um, Denny, have you ever found any solutions for if you get, if you get glue on the front and you still have to stain or dye it? Uh, getting, getting that to work. Uh, the, the best thing you can do is let that cement dry and then peel it off. If you try and wipe it off while it's wet, it'll smear it, and, and it'll actually just... it'll it'll make it worse than better. Okay, that's a good little tip. So if you get glue on the front of something, let it dry completely, peel it off. Like so don't part. panic immediately. Yeah, like this right here. Yeah. When all is said and done, I'll and peel then you'll that roll off, that and off. you probably won't notice it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're getting ready to sew this up. And just before we do that, over here on this side of the holster, this is where the only section where it will be stitched together once this comes together. So Denny made a mark at this corner and at this corner. And he's going to sew from here all the way around the whole thing back to this dot. And then these between these two dots on this edge, he will be sewing it together. 
So one big stitch all the way around. Yes, okay. and I've also got to cut out this slot because I've got to stitch it on the back side. Um, okay. Oh, this I've got to stitch on the back side too. Now it's getting complicated. All right. Guys. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Now, from here around to here, I'm going to have to stitch on this back side. On the inside. Plus, I'm also going to have to cut out this slot and stitch it. So, let's do that first off. First things first, right? Well, don't those slots come together? No. Uh, no. This slot comes together. This does. Yes. Okay. Line. This scratch hole? Did you make that, this? Did somebody no, make this? I think that's actually a pottery tool. This is a pottery tool. I don't. I feel like you've talked about that before. Yeah. It just it just a thing. It's just a thing. It's more like a stylus than a scratch hole. Mm -hmm. I should have known you would have let me know if I wasn't. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to stitch, folks. Here we go. It's a good thing you remember that, because I don't think I would have been able to uh, correct that little bit. <laughs> it would have been hard. It would have been hand stitch. Oh no, Striker, I, I did not make this hat. That's not a thing that I'm capable of doing. This is a Stetson. It's a, it's a good, it's a good Stetson. They made that. We're using a class 26. Yeah, what size 207 thread size 207 24 in needle natural size 24 needle this machine does have reverse it's very fancy <laughs> yeah we went through that the other day didn't we we sure did striker i've learned my lesson on making things that i don't know how to make live on video and we're not going to do that anymore yeah you let me do that as i'm gonna let denny do that and <laughs> he's probably not going to agree to making a hat <laughs> You need a lot of different equipment to do this. You need steamers, you need molds, like for like to make this style hat, you need all sorts of things. I mean, we've done a couple, like I think we have videos for the Aussie hat. I don't know if we've ever done any videos for the top hats. Did Clay never do that? Hats are difficult. We've done some hat patterns. It's not the most fun time that we've ever had. They're a struggle. Head sizes are weird, sizing is weird, dimensions. Denny, that's a really great hand you got there. Yeah, we talked about photography of hands yesterday. You sure were? We were talking about Denny's wrinkly digits. What's, what's that? <laughs> I missed that. What did you say? We said we were talking about hands in here for hand photography. Oh, my wrinkly old and we were, hands. We were looking at your wrinkly digits. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't used to be this wrinkly, <laughs> believe it or not. They'll, they're well worn. I think all of my physical therapists want to do leather crafting now. Good. Look at you. Is that how you distract him from yeah. hurting you? <laughs> yeah. You say, let me tell you about saddle said, making. Let go of that arm for a minute. <laughs> Just a little bit here. <laughs> uh, that's funny. We don't have any racer in here, do we? Mm, I don't. If we don't, that's all right. Anderson, are you watching bring us on a racer? Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. All right. The tool drawer is full of m mysteries. <laughs> Surprises. Okay. 
Now, see this cement has dried, so I'm going to try and peel it off. And it did discolor a little bit, but if you didn't tell anyone, they wouldn't know it. Exactly. Okay, now. Oh, so I think that's the back, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I still need to, to yeah. burnish this part, or bevel and burnish this part before I get it put together. Now you sew the rest of it? Yes. i got to figure out what I need to sew next. Everything between those this, two dots? Yeah. <laughs> this. I mean, I, I may have said it right, but what is it? <laughs> It's a place in Hawaii. Okay. It's a beautiful. It's beautiful. Along the warm, sunny western coast of the Big Island of Hawaii. Hawaii has lots of cowboys. Lots of cattle. Big, hmm. ra big ranches. As big as the islands will let them in. Let's go visit and count. Yeah, let's do it. We're just going to tell Kevin. We need to go to Hawaii. We can go with Shep Herman and visit the sandal guy. I'm gonna have to watch that again. It's been a minute. That's what you should have started instead of Reacher. Oh, I can watch both at one time. <laughs> I'm multifaceted. <laughs> I am really excited about our next few videos though, because we're gonna be making a necktie, a tie. Yeah. And, oh, I this <laughs> and you can put, yeah. A Columbia necktie? <laughs> also shut down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, and, um, what are you doing now, Denny? Now I'm going to burnish the edges that I just stitched. Cool. If I can get on camera, right? Exactly. Am I? Yeah. You are. We keep trying to go to the overhead, but your 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 beautiful hair keeps getting in our way. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not really. It just there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> you, you do you. I'll find you. Anyways, I'm going to hydro dip. We're going to do, Denny's going to tool one, and then next week I'll do right. a, a plain one. Or maybe I'll try, maybe I'll do like a border stamp or something. Yeah, I've got the it. The necktie. Oh. So Denny was, Denny's going to paint and do a really fun one, and I'll, I'll hydro dip one. For a clown? No, for Denny. I'm going to wear his tooled one, and he can wear my hydro dipped one. Oh, perfect. That's my plan. Okay. Are you ready for that? That's my plan. I guess I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say, I'm... Um... He's pretty easy to get along with. Sometimes. <laughs> as long as I don't talk too fast. I tell you what, Denny. There we go. Thanks. Just right there. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't look while you mark, please. <laughs> you close your eyes and just guess. That's what I do anyway, you Okay, guys. perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he finally got a cell phone. In any case, so he's been getting, you know, spam calls like we do these days. And last night he was sitting there and he was returning all of the phone calls that he had missed to see who <laughs> called him. And then if they didn't answer or if it was like a lot of times when you call those numbers that are spam, it's just like a doo doo doo, cannot like complete your call, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And, and then he was deleting his incoming call record for the numbers that he couldn't reach back out and confirm who they were. And I was like, Lou, it's good. You're going to be doing this forever. Can you just, it doesn't matter. I promise you. <laughs> this is, in any case. He and said, did he say, well, why the heck did they do that? Yeah, he was, you know, he's just curious about who's calling him. And I was like, I was like, I promise you. He has literally seven phone numbers saved in his phone. 
awesome. He's got all my mom's kids, his sister, and my mom. And those are all of his numbers. That's it. He has seven phone numbers in his cell phone. You know, well, he can. He's a simple fella. He can save all those spam call numbers now. I know. Yeah, <laughs> he could. He's returning the calls. I couldn't. I sat there and finally I was like, I gotta go. I can't watch this. I was like, this is driving me crazy. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what you're doing. You just. He's, he's something. You know what I'm gonna need that I didn't bring? What's this? One of my rub sticks. Okay. Well, you sew, and okay, I'll go. Okay, I'm gonna stitch this one. Rub stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck. Oh yeah, Luna does hear stick and get excited. We collected a pile for her when we took a walk the other day, so now she has she has four or five of them sitting on the little stoop out here. Butters was trying to steal them yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was so good. <laughs> Yeah, this holster build is so complicated that we really couldn't talk about anything else today. <laughs> well, uh, Ryan, this phone call, it, it took us a while to get to that point, and I think we were probably 30 minutes in. Look, you guys have something more in common than that level. And I, I, I had done plenty of that before I started punching numbers in the phone. That's a cute little knife. Yeah. Oh, is that one of the Ivan ones? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think nice. we sell it. Yeah. It's a very nice little knife. Look at this cute little guy. A little Damascus and everything. Well, pretend. Little. Yeah. Pretend Damascus. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's a nice knife. <laughs> you just gotta practice, Ryan. Ryan said he would cut his finger off trying to do what you did with a round knife. <laughs> uh, after you cut one of them off, you don't do that again. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that one's safe head. from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than go out to the sanding machine, I'm just going to do this. Oh, you didn't bring your water bucket. I guess you're just gonna spritz it. Yeah, I'll spritz it. He's afraid, a feared. He's a feared for his fingers. I. It would be hard to do leather work if you lost one of your first fingers. Ah, I'm, Michael's not here. But yeah. if Michael were here, I, I can't. You can just use your toes. Michael could tell you everything you need exactly. to know. Exactly. Yeah. See, Ryan, if you lose a finger, just holler at Michael. He'll help you out. Yeah. He gets he gets away with doing leather work with only five fingers. Just a tip, Ryan. Hmm. Okay. Now. Yeah, I think it's a rite of passage for all of our for all of our strippers to lose the tip of their finger, which is why we we got the safety go. rulers. Just spill that water out everywhere. We're getting paper towels. Ooh, Denny. <laughs> hey. That's the first really bad accident of the day. We got our glue turned up on its side. Well, it's, our water out. This is supposed to be turned on its side. Yeah. Yes. Did he finally read the instructions when he broke his other one and mm -hmm. got a new one? And it was like, oh, this is how you're supposed to store it. And I thought, really? All flipped you on his what? back. <laughs> and I always, you know, remember I cemented that sponge on the bottom of mine? Mm hmm. I'm not going to do, do this. it on this one. <laughs> Ryan, we got, there's a whole department. We have a whole department of people that just cut strips and straps and emboss strips and straps. 
And it's just easier to call them the strippers. Yeah. They sit right on the other side of Denny. He sits in the front of the room, and we put him in the back of the room. It's my favorite department to introduce when people come into her. <laughs> this is all of our strippers <laughs> over here. They even have a clipboard with a semi chubby fellow. <laughs> He's got a baseball cap on, though. Yeah. Hey, you need to put that camera back down. I know. I put okay. it up because you had it up, but yeah. now he's moved back down. Okay. We're ready to <clears throat> mold and shape this thing up. So I'm going I'm going to try and not get the back side of it too wet mm -hmm. because I, I would rather it... Look, you can oh. run into here. Oh, good idea. Thank you. But I do want to get the front side fairly wet. This toy Don't show taco, taco out of here. Burrito. A burrito, I'm sorry. See how easily that fit in there? Look at that. That's about how I want it right there. Now. Look, and we have yes. all the ticklers. N numerous rub sticks. Guys, I don't know if you figure this out yet, but leather work is either intentionally or not intentionally pretty funny. <laughs> For us, it's unintentional. It's For me, uh, it's unintentional. Tony and I, it's intentional. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just gave that a quick spray because I didn't want it to discolor. Burrito back in the holster. Burrito in. Man, I do want a burrito now. Maybe I'll go to the taco truck after this and get a get a burrito. You know, I've never tried that taco truck. You got to do the one that's not in our parking lot, but across the street. I don't. Even, is that one in our parking lot still there? Yeah. Okay. You got to go to the one that's in front of Walmart. Oh yeah. Yeah. He's got the best tacos. He has the crispiest, crispiest meat. It's delicious. And if you like a good hot sauce, he's got a good. It's a. It's hot. It's a good sauce, but it's still got good flavor. You just worry this until you get tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about tired of it. <laughs> uh, that shake pretty good. And then after you're done and it's all dry, could you could you go back with some oxalic acid and, and sure, try to clean sure, up the leather a little bit? Certainly. Okay. Oxalic acid? Oxalic, I don't know Oxal how you whatever. pronounce it. Yeah, I, to me it's oxalic acid. Oxalic. Comes in a little white baggie, about two ounces. Ed about two ounces. Ed Labar says it'll kill you. But well, don't drink I'm, it. I'm still, yeah. <laughs> it'll make it's you climb a tree naked if you drink it. <laughs> That, okay, we're off Facebook again. <laughs> Someone might think it's something else. A burrito? Yeah. Okay. You mean we're like done. A, and how, you want to make sure that that's kind of coming over? Yeah, okay. yeah. When I, uh, <laughs> now I would take the gun out. Okay. And I would actually cut that over a little bit. So it. So it's a little bit more extreme. It did retain a little bit. There we go. All right. And you just let that dry. And you let it dry. And now you're going to put that one on. If I can figure out how. I've never worn a burrito before. <laughs> <laughs> they get a little squishy sometimes. Yeah. It's 
Chevy, we probably ate it. I'm gonna assume. I think I still have a jar of something in my fridge. <clears throat> I'm only allowed to have one salsa jar open at a time in the <laughs> fridge because Chris is really a condiment. Aficionado. We just we have too many. He's always complaining that there are too many jars and there are too many condiments. And then once you open so many of them, then they never go away and they're in there for forever. So he's he's a big advocate of like you get one barbecue sauce at a time, you get one salsa at a time. Otherwise, it's not in the fridge because it takes up too much room. Okay. All right. That's how it goes. Um. Hey, uh, Justin, can you fiddle with that? Fiddle with it. <laughs> Uh, Can we see anything? Hold on. There we go. There it is. Maybe zoom in a little bit. Is it good? Yeah. So there it is. Perfect. This probably isn't a good holster to carry your burrito in your truck. <laughs> you would smash your burrito. Denny would be really upset if you did that in his new truck. All right. Now I'll get dressed again. Okay, thanks. And this, this hurts. Oh, Back this way. It's a good stretch this, for you. It's a good stretch. A painful. It's good a good stretch. hurt because Denny needs to yeah, exercise so that so he's not well. stuck like this for the rest of his life. Yeah. Alrighty, um, kids. The pattern. Is, is this on the website, Tony? Mm -hmm. In our little free pattern thing? Yeah. Okay, so if you're on Twitch right now and you don't have the pattern, you can find this on our website. In our educational stuff, there is a spot for it. Um, if you came over from YouTube and the video is taken down, we'll see if we can get the video back up. We'll do what we can. But otherwise, that's how you do it, folks. Small of the back holster. Yes, for burritos. For burritos. Ow.